So, Kmet, your stock has been on a tear ever since you announced earnings fourth quarter last month. You handily beat earnings expectations. You announced a $1.2 billion share buyback, and you even increased dividends. That's making shareholders everywhere very happy. Can you tell us a little bit about what underlies that that superb performance that you demonstrated last month? Sure. Obviously, you know the uh, the business environment doesn't change in a in a quarter. We've been doing our transformational activities over the f- couple of well, actually more than three years, and all these actions we put in place start to deliver eventually, and what we promise is delivering. And uh, Street likes it. Investors like like that when when you promise something, you deliver. That has been probably the 14 uh, success story. Uh, the actions like you know, customers' behaviors are changing. The customers are using more digital environment. Um, that and we ad- uh, we adapt our our channels on a new digital environment and combining our locations, retail locations, 500,000 locations worldwide, with our uh, digital environment has been a success story. Our digital business is growing by m- almost 30 percent, 28 percent was last quarter growth rate. Um, our B2B business, which is the SME money transfer business, uh, returned to growth again, and it's on the way to have a double-digit growth uh, in the future, uh, lower double-digit growth. And our core, which is the retail money transfer business, which customers love it, trust us, is extremely resilient. Um, during the crisis, during the good times, has been always delivering ex- excellent results. It's good margins. And the most important part probably is also we increased our margins, right? Our margins have been increasing. Last year we reported a great 14 year, which had an impact on our EPS. Our EPS grew by 11%. And that, um, that has been, you know, uh, we delivered better, ex- uh, better than we uh, planned. And that reward came back in the stock stock um, reward, and our stock is definitely um, doing well. Now, next step is that keeping that promise, continue to keep that promise. And 15 is, as you know, as many companies, it's a, I'm cautiously optimistic about the global environment, European issues, uh, oil price, currency, um, currency changes. Volatility of the currency has been, uh, you know, in a global business, impacts our uh, forecast. We gave, um, uh, you know, optimistic but cautiously optimistic forecast for 15. And now we have to deliver, continue to deliver on 15. Otherwise, you know, uh, but I believe that our customers love our business, so we are continuing to deliver. So, I I do want to talk a little bit about that DNA of innovation and resilience you're talking about, and in particular, the new deal you announced with Apple Pay, which will facilitate money transfers using Apple Pay. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the roadmap for Western Union and its use of technology and what Apple Pay will mean for your business eventually? You know, Western Union has been 165 years in the market, more than, and I believe we are going to 166 years. And uh, we've been always innovative uh, for many, many years. The secret of our, in our DNA is that we are adapting our brand, our channels, our environment to the customer needs. And customer needs, as you said, are changing. People are using more mobile. One of them is Apple Pay. So we did adapt our systems to that you have the capability to use your Apple phone or Apple Pay capability. Um, today is Apple Pay. Tomorrow it could be Samsung Pay. Uh, in on location, or you can use it from your phone, sending money globally to Uganda or to India, Bihar in minutes. Um, that, that's combination that uh, combining 200 million people worldwide uh, with different um, needs um, and different parts of the world in seconds. It's unique for West Indian. And what we are doing is that as the customer uh, way of sending money is changing, we are adapting our systems also. But in the core, we stay the same, connecting the people in minutes, sending money to your loved ones in minutes. Trust is there because you give their money, you hard earn money to someone like we're seeing in and you believe it's going to be arrive in, the, in minutes there. And the trust is enormous that customers gave us and we give them back. Uh, that's probably the secret that we have here and uh, you know we're going to continue to adapt our system to the new needs of the customers. An interesting study that was released recently by Western Union shows that about half of your users are immigrant women. So they represent about 291 billion dollars of the remittance business that you do annually. Can you talk to us a little bit about the significance of immigrant women to your business? Yeah, I mean, uh, they are real they are real heroes. They are very important for us. Uh, we know from our uh, customer surveys and we know from our data 
that uh, more than 50% of the uh, women are, of our customers are women, no, more than 50% of our customers are women, and they do send money in a different way than men do. Uh, they do, I would say as a man, I would say that they would, uh, they would send money more intelligent than we men do, <laughs> uh, because they do really support their families back home. Um, the money goes directly to their loved ones, the families, and that's the, probably the mother instinct uh, that many uh, women have, and they support their ch children. By the way, number one reason why people send back home money is education. So it's not easy as a mother to leave a country to go another adventure, mm -hmm. and you start a new adventure. It's a hard, hard, hard one. And, but the, it, you are so motivated that your children have a better life than you have it. Mm -hmm. So that's why they, the hard-earned money is sent back home uh, to the children that they have a good education, uh, they have a better life, and they really contribute to the local and the global economy. Uh, on the other side, on the received side, the women, the most of the money goes to women. They receive it, and they do spend it very wisely. Uh, they do have a, uh, they create also, some of them create jobs with the money uh, they are getting entrepreneurial, they receive in the money. We have recent studies that show that uh, many women do create small SMEs and they employ people with the remittances they receive. So it is, uh, I call them uh, real heroes or uh, women customers. Hikmet, thank you very much for joining us today. Th thank you very much, Janet. <laughs>